Hi Samurais and welcome back to my channel. On today's video we are doing a trial run of this look for our friend's wedding this coming weekend on the 15th. Um, I'm not sure how I like the lip so let me know what you guys think below. My dress is very long and black. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing this eye I believe for the wedding. Um, but I'm not certain about the lipstick. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so that way you're notified when new content is uploaded. Otherwise, you guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. Stay safe and as always, make good choices. All right, to start today's look, we're gonna go in with the NYX Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer to prep our skin. Now, this one, like I've told you guys in the past, is a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I put way too much on, way too much. Back into my hand with you. Just gonna rub that together and really work that into the skin, but you want to be gentle not to pull your skin. We don't need any premature aging or damaged skin, especially around your eyeballs. You want to be very careful. So I know in the past I've done green looks before, um, but this one is a little bit more special than the other ones. Um, when So this is going up tomorrow, which would be Thursday. On Saturday the 15th, our two really good friends are getting married finally after two long years of COVID and just craziness. Finally it's happening um, and my dress is black and my eyes i'm doing a green eyeshadow um so yeah that's why we're doing green again this time so now that that is set we're gonna go in with our pretty fresh color pop hyaluronic hydrating foundation in the shade light 33c and i'm going to be applying this with my damp beauty blender Now that we have our foundation applied, we're going to go in with our favorite concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade 12S Fair. When it comes to your concealer, everyone does it different, whatever works best for you. I'm just trying out different ways to do it. So 
still trying to conceal my blemishes. So I'm just gonna go back in with my damp beauty blender and blend that out. Okay, now that we have our, um, now that we have our concealer blended, we're gonna go in with our NARS Translucent Setting Powder. This is Translucent Crystal. And I'm gonna be applying this with my brush. This is a Morphe M536 brush. Just makes it a little bit easier to get into the nooks and crannies. powder into my neck just to make sure that my neck is blended out. I should have gone with a little bit more of a dense brush or not as much of a dense brush I should say. I'm just taking my JH04 brush and I'm just dusting or blending in what's left of the powder on this brush just to really make sure it's in there. What I'm gonna do for the day of is I'm gonna set each layer with um, a light mist of setting spray um, just to make sure that it doesn't move around or anything like that. Um, I am also trying out the One Size Beauty uh, by Patrick Star On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. So far I've liked it. Um, so we'll see how it works that the day of. Next, I'm gonna go in with my 
Milani Sunkissed 02 Silky Matte Bronzing Powder with my JH07 brush, as always. So I did a big girl thing last week. I got my ears re-pierced, as you can see. They're green to match my nails. And my eyeshadow for the wedding. Well, I shouldn't say I got them re-pierced. I really just needed the back of my right ear re-pierced because for whatever reason, they just, that one, did, just didn't want to stay open but it's fine I haven't worn earrings in a long time so I think honestly it's pretty lucky that I only needed the one um, but it's nice I normally have a super bad sensitivity to nickel um, but these are titanium so I found out titanium and 14 karat gold have no traces of nickel in them whatsoever which is great because normally like any kind of earrings like even real ones that I would wear um, my ears would like burn and itch but so far I haven't had any issues with these thankfully so should hopefully work out Now that we have that applied, I think we're gonna try a new blush this time. I don't know what, but I'll be right back. So for my blush, I'm going to try the Jaclyn Cosmetics um, Blush Bronzer Duo. And I'm gonna be using the blush out of this, which is called Pink Me Up. And I'm using my JH06 brush for this. I don't know if I've used this one yet. I think I have. subtle pink but I actually really like it this combo I like it a lot I am going to I am just gonna take my bronzing brush just to blend the two together a little bit better I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm also switching it up this week as well. Um, this week, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. Um, this is what it looks like. And... And I am going to take my normal highlighting brush. not really giving me the highlight that I'm looking for. Maybe 
if I spray the brush a little bit. There we go. Just had to wet the brush a little bit. Now that we have our highlighter done, we're going to go in with the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Latte just to define our eyebrows a little bit. So normally with our eyeshadow, I would go in with the P. Louise Rumor 0.5 base, but today I'm actually going to be going in with the Glam Light Icing White Frosting Eyeshadow Primer. Since this is very, very white, this will help the eyeshadow really pop. So we're going to go ahead and apply that to our eyelid. The first color, now that we have our eyeshadow primer applied, that first color that I'm going to be going in with is from the Nook Incorporated ColourPop Animal Crossing Collection. We're going to be taking the shade Water Landing, which is this very 
pretty dark green down at the bottom. And I'm taking an MSQ brush, it's just a flat, wide brush, and I'm just tapping this into the brush, and then I'm going to tap it into my crease. Kind of like what we did with the, um, Icy Palette. Since I am working with dark color eyeshadows, I am taking my translucent powder. and applying it under my eyes. I know this will mess up my highlight and my blush, but I'd rather not get this So the reason why I applied the powder under my eyes is because we are working with the darker shadows and if there is any fallout, we don't want it to fall and start to melt into our already done face. That's why you should in theory do your eyeshadow first, just so you can clean up any lines or anything, but I did it backwards, so here we are. Alright, now taking from the ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette, we're taking the shade Bold Type, this green down here at the bottom, and we're taking that with a JS12 brush, and we're going to blend out this super dark green color.
All right, to blend this just a little bit further, we're gonna go in with the ColourPop Just By Luck palette, and we're gonna be using the shade Chances Are, and I'm using a Morphe M507 brush for this. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this, not a whole, whole lot. This is just more so to blend it out a little bit further up here. Eyeshadow primer. I have some on the back of my hand. I'm going to be taking a Morphe 124 flat brush and I'm going to go in and cut my crease. I'm also using this because I'm going to be doing a pressed glitter on top of this so it'll give it a little tackiness to grip onto. pretty green pressed glitter. And we're just going to tap it on to the base that we have. taking that water landing shade that we did, the darkest green, and I'm just dragging that slightly over to my water line. Thank you. 
All right, now that we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and curl our eyelashes. For our mascara, we're gonna go in with the Essence What the Fake Fiber Volumizing Mascara. For our first setting spray, I'm going to go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. We're gonna try the Golden Beach Barbie Liner. Alright guys, so that is the finished look for what I'm thinking for the wedding look for this weekend. Let me know what you think. I'm still kind of on the fence about the lipstick. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it, but we're going to kind of let it sit for a little bit um, and see how I feel. Um, but otherwise, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so that way you are notified when new content is uploaded. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next one.